G'day guys, welcome back. I said I'd be back hey, after that last pour um, with these bright colours, really love them, so I'm going to go again. I'm going to just take it back a notch and just try for that main centre piece with the lovely feathering around it. So I've gone back to a smaller size. This is a 30 by 40 centimetre, 12 by 16 inch card. And I'm only going to do one cup. This is half the size of the canvas, pretty much. So I'll just do one cup. I'm going to layer it twice. And I really want a white center. So I'm going to put a large amount of white in the bottom first. And cross fingers <laughs> that I'll get a white center. So that's the plan. So my paints are pretty thick, same as what I'd use for my flip cups equal parts pouring medium to paint. Pouring medium is the same as always. 60% glue, 30% water, 10% Floetrol. And the magenta and the um, dioxazine purple have been mixed more colour, probably one and a half times colour to one, color, uh, one part pouring medium because they're such thin paints. Um, so we have the dioxazine purple that I make, it's a lovely dark purple shade, um, I just basically matched it to the Liquitex dioxazine purple and then the magenta from Global, these are all Globals, uh, this one's just called orange and that one is cool yellow and then I have some white. So. Um, Let's get started. Now, good amount of white in the bottom there. That's a lot. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be all right. Now, I'm purposely keeping my yellow away from my purple. Uh, my other one, I think I had the purple next to the yellow and I started going a little bit green, so let's not do that again. Half the purple. half the magenta so just the two layers which means I'm going to have nice big thick layers of color so hopefully that will be really pretty half the orange half the yellow you get the idea back to the white I hope I've got enough room in my cup I didn't think about that oh I didn't think about that this could be a problem. I would normally use a jug. Let's just pour that in. Oh, it might be just enough, you guys. Just, just. Look at that. Tiny little bit of paint left in my cups. I have got more magenta in there. I've got a bit more white. Um, yeah, because last time I did two cups, I didn't fill them all the way up. But um, in hindsight, I probably should have gone to my jug. Now, the other thing I want to do... Oh, and I've named it. Silly, I know, but hey. I know there's lots of people that are doing this type of pour. Um, I've previously called it like a, a wandering pour. It's not a ring pour. And I do a, like a waterfall pour. I've called it a waterfall pour where I just pour into the centre in one spot, don't move my hand, and the paint comes down. And that one I call either a wandering pour or a waterfall pour. This one, I can't move my hand up and down, so it kind of jiggles it. That's why I thought I'd call it a jiggle pour. What do you think? Do you like that? It's kind of cute. Julie's jiggle. Jiggle, jiggle. So, up and down like this. Jiggle, jiggle. Right. And the other thing I'm going to do differently is I'm not going to pinch the end there. I actually want a wide amount to come out so that the colours are more separated and I have a nice bigger gap in the middle. We'll see how it goes. Okay? Just see how it goes. So that's the plan. A jiggle pour and a bit of a wider mouth. So I'm just staying up the top here. Jiggle, jiggle. Up and down, here comes the purple. Get 
get a bit closer to the surface now that I'm getting my cup a little bit emptier and I can just sort of do these big folds. It's kind of more of a fold that I'm doing up and down, up and down. Hopefully there comes the white and I can have a white center. Yay, here it comes. It's a bit late you guys, you white. Where were you when I needed you? Would have preferred you to come out sooner. All right, let's take the little container away real quick. Woohoo! Well, I didn't get a white centre. I wonder why. Usually what goes in first comes out last. And you get a white centre. All right, I'm going to have to try that again. Maybe if I put a lot of white in at the end. No, but see, I put yellow in at the end and I've got a big band of yellow there. I don't know now. I'm confused. I thought I was going to get a white centre. Okay, well, that was enough paint anyway. Oh, can I leave it like that? Can I not do anything to it? It's just torch to pop some bubbles. So I'm going to try and sort of keep the general shape. See these little feathers here, these fingers? And because I've gone jiggle jiggle up and down and that it was quite wide, I didn't pinch the cup. I've got a wider area in the middle there. They're not sort of touching so much. So that was what I was after as well. Um, now paint. Let's see. I've got a little bit of the purple left. Let's thin that down just a touch. Well, there's hardly any in there. Maybe just enough um, to do either the top corner or the bottom corners and then I'll do the magenta with the other. So let's just get that's a bit blobby there. Let's just get that off first. Actually, that could go a little bit thinner. Make it go a little bit further. Probably, oh, I don't know. A lot of water. Big splash of water. Just to thin it out to make that flow. Still looks relatively thick, but it's certainly much thinner than the other paint. So a bit of purple up here, and then I'll put some. Actually, you know what? I might even have enough to do purple down the bottom because I really want more purple. My other one, I just found it was too, too hot looking, too red and orange. So yeah, this is... oh, I forgot my notifications again. Sorry, I wasn't going to do another pour. I was sitting there on the couch, reading comments, looking at people's pours, and I thought, oh, I wonder if I put a big lot of white in at the beginning, will I get a white stripe down the middle? And then I thought, oh, I'm going to have to get up and try it. So I did, but I wasn't planning to, so I haven't turned off my notifications. Sorry, my bad. I think that's just a, oh, it's a blob of paint. I can't, can't get it out. I'm going to have to get tweezers. All right. Um, this way first, up the top there. And to the side a bit. As I said, I do want to keep my purple there. So let's do that. Come back. Oops, I need to go over a little bit more on this side just to make it a little bit the same. I am trying for matchy matchy this time. Last time I wasn't, but this time I I am kind of. Oh, what are you doing? You're ruining it. I don't want that 
all that yellow there. Let's get this back to the centre. I need to move it up and then I can get it back to the centre. See how I'm moving this white area? And then down. I'm sort of trying to get that in the centre as much as I can. And the only way to do it is to take the paint where you want it to go from and then move it over. Uh, kind of helped a little bit. Not much, but it's okay. Um, I'm really liking the purple corners. Just want that one to match that one. So yeah, this pour's more matchy-matchy. Trying to go for those specific featherings or wings. Not that it's a wing pour, but um, now I'm going to tilt it, turn it around. I just find it easier to tilt that way and it's towards the light as well. Alright, so straight down and a little bit to that corner there. I'm losing my magenta, it's rolling over itself. I don't want to lose it all off the edge there. so. Come back. Actually, I don't like that. It's got a bit of a weird shape there. We'll go over there, over to the yellow. Okay, how's that? Come back again. Turn it around. Wow. Pretty, pretty. Right, now I just need to see how this is over here more. And it needs to be more centred. So I need to bring the paint back up. And then I can use the weight of the paint to bring this bit over. Now I can go to that corner. And I want to leave that purple there. So that's Pretty much all I can do. There's a lot of paint left on here. That's okay. I don't want to get rid of all of it. I like the nice brightness of it and I like those little featherings or fingers that are there. Mm, I don't like that. That needs to go. I don't really like that bit there either. So let's do that bit first. Right, I'm going to take the weight back. You can see the weight of the paint's here at the moment, so I want to get it there and then I can go there to push that area off. There's no point trying to push that area off if your paint's all down here. It just won't work. Okay, that's got it, I think. Let's have a look. Yep, that got it. Now I just need to bring the paint back. Yeah, that's better. And now I'll do the same on that side, get rid of that little blobby bit there. So where's the weight of my paint? It's kind of here at the moment. So bring it down, just a touch so it's in line with where I want to tip off. And off we go. Do I want to keep some of that yellow? Not specifically. We'll have it matchy matchy, hey? Okay, I did open up my little fingers a little bit more than I wanted. I didn't want them quite that wide, but then I pushed paint off the sides there, so that's opened it up. So I guess that's a trade-off. I might be able to correct that. I might be able to sort of Get them to come a bit closer by doing this, maybe. 
take a little bit more paint off the bottom there, not a lot. Hmm. Now, do I want to go back up again? If I go back up, it'll scrunch these white fingers down a bit. No, I don't think I'll do. I don't think I do. Just fix my composition a little bit. All right, how's that? I'm leaving it. She is done. Put the fork in me. I'm done, as they say. Backing away. Happy with that. I guess the only thing I'm not that happy with is my middle. I really wanted it white and it's kind of a little bit muddy, you know, a bit muddy, but I don't know. Let's turn it that way so you can see it that way. And tidy up a little bit here, eh? So you can see it better without all the distractions of messy paint everywhere. There. That's better, isn't it? It's pretty good. It's not exactly matchy matchy, but it's as close as I can get it. Right, let me take you in for a close-up. Actually, maybe if I look at it from over here, oh, it does tend to want to come over a little bit more this way. Hmm, that'll do. I think because I've pushed this over the edge here, that's why I've opened that up. I need to work out how to get a white middle. Do you guys know? If you guys know how to get a white middle, let me know. Because I'd like a white middle with purple and magenta feathers coming into the white. And I, got, I know I've got my white up here, but that's not quite what I wanted. I'll have to keep trying. You don't mind me keep trying, do you? No. Okay, take it in for a close-up. Pretty, pretty. Love those featherings. I'll take it down for a better close-up, just so that you can see them a bit better. Where can I stand that I'm not going to be having a light behind me. See those gorgeous little featherings, aren't they? It's my favourite part. Those little fingerlings or featherings, whatever you want to call them. Go away, light. There you go. Pity I haven't got a white middle. Even a yellow middle would have been nice, wouldn't it? Maybe a yellow middle. All right, I'm going to have to get onto Google. See if Mr. Google can tell me how to get a, a white or a yellow middle. And I will be back. We'll go again. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.